Brothers and sisters, what's going on? How you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. God damn. I like the mask, and then there's times I don't like the mask. See all the shit I go through? But anyway, brothers and sisters, what I do want to say, yesterday's class, three parts of Sex Chronicles, ah, oh, it was awesome. Well, guess what? We had Sex Chronicles, chapter one on one, verse two. Right now. Yes, right now. Uh... What I want to discuss today is about somewhat a little bit of the energy and the frequency of positivity, positivity somewhat, just a little bit, to give us a uh, the sun was in my fucking face, a somewhat an execution of understanding the behavior of who you are. Literally. And I say that to say this, brothers and sisters. Not knowing mentally capabilities, you're going to respond to things abnormal. You're going to respond, you're going to respond abnormal because you're not mature enough. Understand this, brothers and sisters, that most people, most people repeat the same cycle over and over again. It's just what it is. If you don't learn and you don't mature, you're just not going to exceed what you need to do. Some people exceed on pure endurance, pure will, right? Sex Chronicles chapter 101, verse two. And some people have the capabilities to be successful in life, but are they successful in their relationships? How many relationships you gotta go through? How many relationships do you have to go through before you get it right? God damn. How many relationships you got to go through? I'm, just, I'm talking to you, brothers and sisters. How many do you got to go through before you get it right? That is the whole conception. Because some of you is like, you're so fucking desperate at trying to find somebody. And guess what? Doesn't work. And then you do it again. You do it again. And guess what? It doesn't work. Right? Why it doesn't work? Why? Why your relationships doesn't work. This is what you got to ask yourself. These are the questions you need to speak to yourself. Why does your relationship don't work? Why do you need to be fulfilled of dating this one, dating that one, dating this one, dating that one? Don't tell me, oh, I don't want to be alone. How does a person who just left their mother and father's house or whoever was their guardian, all of a sudden, they don't want to be alone? So you just deal with other people and they mess. How could you just deal with people in a mess, brothers and sisters? Peep the game. Peep the game. 
This is 2 Chronicles chapter 101, verse 2. Open conversation. This open conversation. Because in this one, I'm not going to be showing you any videos. I'm going to give you my opinions. We got to stick directly to the point. Directly to um, what we're discussing. We got to find out why are we constantly jumping the body to body to body. Soul jumpers. Soul jumpers. What is the whole conception of jumping to body to body to body? Huh? What is the whole conception? Some of you, now you're discussing how many bodies you got. How many bodies you bag. And now you turn this into an honor. How many bodies you back? Yeah, I want to. I don't want to tell somebody how many motherfucking people I fucked. You know what I mean? Sometimes I see these motherfuckers in my sleep. Sometimes I see these people when I'm walking. Like you have flashes. Remember, anytime you engage with different people, you dealing with their soul. You dealing with the souls. We gotta go upstairs because I gotta take care of something. Uh, we only got a few minutes anyway. But I have to take care of something. Oh, Sex Chronicles is not over yet. We got like three more minutes. So, but I gotta take care of something. So. So a lot of you, you know, you jump soul to soul, literally. And I ask myself, why can I do that shit? Jumping a soul to soul and Lying to one another. You're jumping soul to soul. You're lying to one another. And you're not keeping it real. It doesn't make sense the things you'll be doing. It really don't make sense. Beat the game. So, my point what I'm making is, you jump soul to soul to these different peoples. You get mad and more mad and more mad. Women get tired of fucking trying to get you to do what they want. Men are tired of telling them what to do. You know what I'm saying? Because people just want to live their lives and do what the fuck they want to do. That's real talk. Real talk. So you find people jumping all over the place, thinking they're finding their ways. But by the time you become mature, it's a waste of time because nobody wanna deal with that attitude, behavior, man or woman, it does not matter. It does not matter. But you keep, you keep doing it over and over and over again. You looking for something. What are you looking for? Find yourself first. Love yourself first. Don't look for somebody else to try to entertain you. Because remember, a lot of people, they into that. They into for someone to entertain them. Male or female, they don't care. Those kind of people are terrible energies. And they will drain you. They will drain you, brothers and sisters. This is Sex Chronicles, chapter 101, verse 2. I see you in the next verse. Let's keep it together.